Ball stays on this side. Shane carrying it and gives it up. Keep an eye on number 24, Ben Smith in the middle, who has the ball now, and he scores. The leading returning scorer on this Quakers team finds the back of the net for his second of the year. Clark, during the game against Georgetown, it was pretty clear that Smith was having trouble finding his spot, and more to the point, the Quakers were getting in the ball where he likes to have it, and it's clear that that's become a priority ben here Smith in this first quarter. in the quarter. middle. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great goal for Penn, scores, but the, the, the play of that, score what on made that Quakers play happen was Peter Blake saving the, the ball from going over the midline. That is uh, coaching 101. <laughs> Isaac Corris, the sophomore midi, getting some run. Chorus with the ball now, being defended by Tyler Shook, the senior. Great look. Fury, bounce shot and scores from distance. Fury took some punishment as well, but nets his first goal of the year. Yeah, and that's a, that's a big one for Gabe Fury. He was really gripping and ripping in the Georgetown game, could not find the back of the net. That is, a, that is a good, another good sign for Penn for sure. And, and, you know, I think that's where Fury is... In my opinion, where he's most effective is in a step-down position where he gets the ball and he steps down to shoot as opposed to shooting on the run. He's a lot more accurate with those step-down shots and a lot more effective, able to get more, more speed on the shot. Great shot, great look, great shot. Landon Whitney standing at five foot nine as opposed to the 6'3 Emmett Carroll. So a little bit of a size mismatch, at least in terms of the goaltenders. Clean win for Costanzo. Nobody stopping him. Bounce shot, he scores! Ethan Costanzo nets his first. And the Quakers on a run here. Yeah, Enders got beat. The Albany faceoff specialist, Enders, just, he just got beat clean on that one. He is already back at the X because he knows he's got to do better than that. But that, like, these th you know, this momentum that Penn is, is generating is coming from things that they did not have in that first game that they normally do. Good, good faceoff. Good transition, Gabe Fury. Second quarter, just about to get underway. Costanzo comes up with a clean faceoff win. He scored already. Trying to find Smith, didn't work, but Danola was there. And now Penn's offense getting set up. This U Albany defense has bent a couple of different. Behind the back pass, a shot. Carroll saved it. It's stuck in there somewhere. Now it's on the ground. See how Jake. Big oh, hit delivered up top get, now. Flag yeah. coming. It's always going to draw a flag, Joe. I mean, when you get up into the headgear with, uh, with your shoulder, your elbow, your stick, it'll be interesting to see if this is a, a full penalty where they have to serve the full time. It's referred to as locked in. Ethan Till going to the box. Now we'll see, like you said, if this is unreleased. So Penn here is going to get into a basically four, a box, four players. Try to stay as tight as they can. A shot upstairs and a score for Doherty. And now you Albany two for two with the man advantage. Yeah, great job by Doherty there. Took a couple of extra steps to get himself upfield, but also changed planes with his shot. Stick was low, went over the shoulder, went high against Emmett Carroll. That'll help for sure get them back in. But again, they'll continue to be man up here. One penalty is released. Moving on. Gabe Fury holding the ball. So here they go. So they've got a sort of a mini man up opportunity here for about 10 seconds. Back to Ruben. Smith. Now occupying the middle of that U Albany defense. Now across the way. All evened up. Ruben goes upstairs and scores. So that, that's, a, that's a case of Cam Ruben, who is known as a lefty step down sniper, a finisher. And he stepped into it and had it and then just face dodged over to the right and was able, with the goalie already moving, thinking he was coming lefty, moved to his right with the right hand shot. Not a great angle, but was still able to find the net. It's a really smart play by Cam Rubin. He blew it right by the center finger, giving it up, and he'll go off. Oh. 
Pfeiffer. Has McMullen on him. McMullen not afraid to play physically. Looking inside, and a diving score, or is it? That was pretty close. A good goal, second of the game for Silas Richmond. Silas Richmond is, uh, seems to be the complete package, Joe. He's a, a, a big player, big frame, moves well off ball. That was a great cut by him off of a pick and was able to find the time and space as he moved towards the goal to make a great fake and finish it. I mean, that was the... Uh, from Canada, British Columbia, grew up playing a lot of box across. You see that there with that finish. And just getting it away in time, Richmond. The last couple of years at, St at uh, Scranton, University of Scranton, and he did everything. He played defense, he took face-offs, he was on man up, ran on a midi line. Really good athlete. Also spent time at St. Joseph's. Richmond going back to work, has a short stick on him. That's a mismatch. Trapanzano lets it fly right-handed and goes upstairs. That's a great, a great shot by Crapanzano. He got uh, towards the end of the shot clock there. They only had eight seconds left. They were looking to get something going. Step aside for a breather, Crapanzano. Whipping one high, and just like that, U Albany has cut it to a two goal game here. Matthew Till picking up the penalty. Now a shot from distance. Carroll saves it and holds on. Nicely done by Carroll. That one just kind of stuck to his body. He really moved very well from his right to his left to get over there and smother that, and it just got. Caught up in his jersey, but he was able to get over there in time to stop it. Passing, he's very quick, creates that space right there, drew the slide, led to a great opportunity for his team there. So, I mean, these are the things that are going to develop over time with him, but, you know, he's a natural attackman. Uh, I think that'll help his game a lot when he gets down low. They throw sort of a curveball at Albany with a defensive setup where you're locking off both of their, their short, your two short stick defenders lock off two of their better offensive players. So it, it, this will be interesting to see what kind of adjustments are made at halftime, but you know, clearly Penn wants to get a quick one. I think they want to get a quick one here. See how aggressive they are with 2.15 left until halftime. Leo Hoffman, freshman gives it up to Gabe Fury. Shipley creates space. Double. Shot fought off and held on to by the keeper. Landon Whitney making that save. Here comes U Albany. Pacino, second time, not a clean catch, but keeps it alive with a diving effort. A shot in tight and a score by Hogg. Was he in the crease? No, Graydon Hogg able to finish that off. And Pacino turned that from what could have been a bad play into a great play for the Great Danes. I think Leo Hoffman got himself to a great spot on, on offense there for Penn and, and was in a position to make a better shot. I think he'd like to have that one back. And then it almost feels like a, a two-goal swing there. You know, Penn had a good chance. They don't get it. And in transition, it's because of Emmett Carroll. Face-off win here for Costanzo temporarily. Ball on the ground, and U Albany comes away with it. Field is half in shot. Let's see if Penn can get Leo Hoffman going here. They're going to get him the ball here. He's drawing short stick. He was drawing a, a pole in the first quarter, but since then they've gone. Bounce shot. That one went off the outside of the post. Now another shot, quick stick score for Ben Smith. Yeah, Ben Smith, you asked for Ben Smith to get going and Ben Smith gets going right there, but it's off ball movement that leads to that great goal. So they were able to get Albany with a pick game, hung up, the defender get hung up, slides didn't come quick enough, and Ben Smith knows what to do in a position like that, put the, put the, put the ball in the back of the net, get, get them off to a good, get UPenn here off to a good start in the third quarter. 
And again, on the, on the face-off wings, Penn continuing to do a two-goal deficit. And really, Clark, they spent much of that second quarter slowly clawing back into it against Penn. They sure did. Shot. Score up high. Too good from Alex Pfeiffer. And the sophomore able to find the back of the net to cut it to one once again. Middies that can dodge downhill, shoot on the run, and shoot with accuracy, they, they do not grow on trees. And that is, that is a hard thing to do. And, uh, and Pfeiffer just did it to perfection there. That was a great shot. Beat Carroll to the spot. Back to a one goal deficit again. Ruben straight away has a short stick on him. Shane for Smith. Ruben back on the attack, lets it go. Good back up there by Walsh, 11 to shoot for Penn. Smith lets it go far side and scores the hat trick for Ben Smith. Fourth goal of the year for Smith and Penn back up two. Ideal shot placement right there by Ben Smith. I mean, uh, you know, off stick, hip side. You can't place it any better than that. I mean, that, that's exactly where you'd want to put it. Just right off the goalie's off stick hip. Hardest spot for them to be. 25 seconds to shoot. Pfeiffer had his pass, not connect. And Penn causes that turnover. Yeah, Tyler Cool there just got his stick in the passing lane, was able to disrupt that pass. Bouncing ball in the midfield. Battle for it. Who's going to come up with this groundy? It's Penn for now. Fed ahead to Smith. Danola finds a cutter and a bounce shot just missed wide. Not going to be a... Beecham absorbs the contact. Quakers with a two-goal lead here. 24 seconds to shoot. Great look. Nice dish for Walsh. And that was the assist coming from Mulligan, his second of the year. Tynan Walsh gets on the board. He's his second point of the afternoon. Yeah, just another great off-ball cut by Penn. They're getting they're getting you Albany hung up with the picks. In front of the crease there, and Tynan Walsh, I mean, just the, the stick, the pass was right on pin. Um, it's not been active, so. Now a shot from distance, and Carroll stopped that one, too. Looked like it might beat him up high, but he stoned Jackson Pallum. Look at this. Transition attack, long stick shot, and a save made in tight by Whitney. Now these teams going back and forth. Pacino laying it off after the save on Ryan McLaughlin. Oh. Nice stick check once again by McLaughlin. That's a rarity to see the ball be taken. Drawing a long stick. Yeah, you got to like this matchup. Fury's got a short stick. Let's see if they do a little two-man game here and get him free. Skane dumps it low. Danola whips it around. Here's Hoffman. Dodging back to the inside. Good find. Walsh one-on-one. -on -one. He scores. Walsh goes upstairs and Penn back to a four-goal lead. 10-6. Tynan Walsh doing his best. Uh, as a Californian, um, they probably don't, they don't play as much box lacrosse in California as they do in Canada, but that was certainly a, a box-inspired play and head fake and shoulder fake before he put that in. Great, great play by, by Tynan Walsh and a great look off the dodge from Leo Hoffman. Walsh one-on-one, -on -one, too good. Handles it business for Penn. Oh, but uh, he's the difference in the game, in, in my opinion. Emmett Carroll is, has been on point all day today. Costanzo comes up with another win. Dumps it off for Smith. 
Simon Walsh wanted to take a crack at it there, but thought better of it. Six to shoot for you, Albany. Well, you get a quality shot off here. Richmond feeds inside and a big save on Doherty. Fresh. Carroll was all alone there. Wow, what a save by Carroll. I mean, that's a huge save. They got a great look with just a couple of seconds left on the, on the shot clock and then had a fresh 60 seconds. Isaac Chorus getting another touch here. Back to Hoffman. Highly rated freshman dishes inside to Smith, and he scores. Hoffman picks up his second assist. And for Ben Smith, that's goal number four in this game. Penn leads by five. Hoffman creates the offense, gets the defense moving a little bit, helps to create the space for Smith. Smith's able to go to that open space, and the second the ball hits his stick, hits his cross, he's able to put it into the net. No cradle, no hesitation, hits his spot. That quick, nothing landed. Oh. Shane, Shipley, and Rubin. There's no mistake there. Inside, bounce shot to Nola. Had it saved by Whitney. Now you, Albany, looking to counterattack. It's not bad offense from Penn there. Ryan McLaughlin there with the hustle play for Penn. Seven seconds to clear for Carroll. Another turnover. Open cage currently. Now a shot, and that one missed everything. Carroll was way off of his angle, but Thomas Decker wasn't particularly close. Now a timeout called by Penn. 3.57 to go here in this fourth quarter. That's a big missed opportunity for U Albany there. As Carroll was getting back into the net, he wasn't on his angle. There it is. Cross and the shot missed Carroll high. It's a good look, a good take. Richmond trying to get free in the middle of that Penn defense. Pfeiffer with it on the outside. He's the one who just shot and missed, gets locked up, and it's nearly taken away. Ball on the ground. Doherty feeds it wide for Hogg, gets space, and scores. He picked the low corner, and Hogg goes far side to stop the pen run and cut it to 11-7. Yeah, a great, a great hesitation fake there by Hogg. I mean, it was a broken play after the takeaway by the Penn defense, but Hogg, an elite-level goal scorer with the hesitation and the, and the finish, cut this down to a four-goal lead with three minutes and 15 seconds to go being on that list, they both played great. Approaching two minutes left here in regulation time. Low shot wide of Carroll. Pfeiffer backing up, he'll start play with 61 to shoot. Nice little S dodge there from Jackson Palum. Pass picked off by Shipley. Great fake to get the break started here. Tyler Kuehl with it, lays it off. U Albany getting it back. Casino firing it ahead. Hogg looks low, right on the doorstep, it's Doherty. Doherty knocked down, still with it, battling for it. I have to call him in the crease. Yeah, I was wondering how he levitated to avoid it the first time around with the two defenders on him, but U Albany Great Danes. Penn bounces back from their season opening loss to Georgetown with an 11 7 win here at home. Solid win for Penn today. Very impressed with U Albany and their team. Yeah, they're 0 2, but they are going to be a handful in, in their conference this year in the America East, that's for sure. They've, they've got some great players, they've got younger players that are going to develop and get better and better. 
Uh, I think the future is bright for this team for sure.